after the success of Cars, uh, did you always want to make another movie with, with the other means of transport? Yeah, well, I'll tell you how it all came about. Mm -hmm. I think John Lasseter absolutely wanted to. He's always looked at this world as a vast universe, and there was endless opportunities for different vehicles and different personalities. So one day he came to me and he's like, hey, what do you think about making a movie about planes? And that's kind of how it all came about. So, Because your, your dad, I mean, it comes from an aviation background, that's right? Correct. I read about it. That's and right. You kind of were into planes. I, I guess was. it's... You know, the sky is the limit. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Yes. Yeah. My, and yeah. Um, is this, um, I mean, for both of you, is, it, is this your biggest Disney project so far? Or Yeah. Yeah, it, I think it's it the most visible so far, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. With, like, yeah, global appeal yeah. in every respect. And um, could we expect a film about boats maybe in the future? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, um, I would say you never know. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is uh, it's all about creating, first of all, a great story that has a lot of heart mm -hmm. before John says yes on any of that thing. But that being said, it is a vast universe and there's all different types of vehicles, mm -hmm. so you just never know. <laughs> so Honestly. we can expect a lot of other it, means of transport as, in as Disney. Long, as long as they can come up with good stories. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. And um, this is probably the question where you probably have to interact with each other a little bit about telling me what, you know, is, was this film based around one character in particular? So you developed that and then you created or you developed other characters around this, maybe Dusty or mm -hmm. someone else. And how was, uh, how was the creative process during that movie? So maybe if you can, between the two of you, mm -hmm. come up with sort of like a little bit of a, an right. idea of how that works. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, definitely the, the, the crux of the story is all about Dusty and his, his journey. So we started with that. We were looking for something. Um, I loved and then the underdog story, the classic underdog story, the little guy that could, that kind of thing. John loves that idea too. So that certainly was where it all started. So we did start with the dusty character, put him in a tough situation of like being a crop duster or something like that and having a bigger goal. And then, and then from that, once we kind of had that, not completely figured out, but we had a, a, you know, a general idea, then the rest of the cast sort of filled in around that and you know I don't know if you want to yeah. add to that but I would just say one of the great things about animation is we don't lock the script as soon as we go into production it's a continual evolving process so we're always it's very true we're always trying to grow the characters and grow the story and enhance and so the characters really develop throughout the whole process probably down to the last few shots even yep. mm -hmm. and um so they're probably not solidified till the very end, which is great because it keep, means we get to give them depth, we get to give them a world and just keep creating. That's true. Yeah, that's great, great, fantastic. And um, what was it like to work with such big Hollywood stars as well? I mean, they are actually John Cleese, even for a small part, but they, you know, and um, so how, and who did you, I mean, once you tell me how, how it worked and, and how, who did you enjoy working the most. I mean, I know it's a bit tricky, but both yeah. of you, you can give me your views. I mean, yeah. first of all, about like, how was it like? I mean, oh, just it was, directing it was, this kind of big yeah, superstars. Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. You know, um, when you get into this level of, of actor, uh, the magic really happens. Um, you know, uh, I've often said you sort of get it, you know, you have it written in a script, but then when you sit down with a, with like John Cleese or a Terry Hatcher or anyone, this Stacy. Keach, those kind of actors, you know, we have a great cast, it's all, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, all those guys. It's like um, they, we get it once or twice the way it's written, and then you sit and you go back and forth, you as the director, me as the star, and we go back and forth and we read the part, and that's where you really see the magic of the character happen and grow in that moment, and that's what's fantastic about movie making. Now, when you get in a comedy, which is a whole different thing, like, you know, with John Cleese, for example, he takes the role and just elevates it to a place where you couldn't even imagine mm -hmm. going, you know. And you're laughing as you're doing it back and forth. You know, he was so fun to work with. As all, you know, I, I truly can say I don't have a favorite in the movie. I mean, they were all enjoyable, all eager to participate, and also eager to just try and elevate everything that we had and just have fun. You know, it's really, it's, it's, it's interesting, but you have to enjoy what you're doing. And if you're doing that, it comes across on the screen. And we really had a good time. Great time. 
Do you have any favorite? I mean, I know yeah. it's a bit not to be not favorite. I mean, no, no. they are all great. But is right. there anybody in particular you enjoyed working with? Or they were all great to work with. Yeah. I mean, every single person had different moments in their recording sessions where it was either we were laughing so much we wanted to cry, or you know, Stacy Keach recording Skipper. There are moments where you feel that power in that mm -hmm. sense that coming out of him, it's like you get a little nervous, you know, mm -hmm. um, and. Brad Garrett had us cracking up, and Terry is so darn smart the way she ha delivers her lines. You just, too. you believe every moment of it. Mm -hmm. So I think they all just bring their own bit yeah, to the it, table. It's impossible to pick Were well, there any yeah. kind of uh, out of script sort of uh, jokes or lots. things? Lots of that. There was yeah. lots of them. Uh, who, br who brought the most? Sort of out of script uh, lines. Yeah, I would say, you know, um, well, first of all, they all brought certain, all of them mm -hmm. ad libbed. But I would say probably, you know, guys like uh, Brad Garrett and, mm -hmm. and certainly Sinbad, who have mm -hmm. just a little bit more screen time, mm -hmm. did a lot more ad libbing, you know, and, and John Cleese too. John Cleese, mm -hmm. what he was able to do with Bulldog and that character, lots of ad libbing. So, um, you know, they all, they all did their share portion, but I would say those guys maybe a little bit more than the others. Yeah, great, thank you.